Hello again, Internet. I have another Reddit challenge here. So, uh, I got a drawing here, and I got this kind of funnily angled face. So, in the side view, it's only half visible, in the top view, it's only half visible. Or, I guess it's entirely visible, but it's at an angle. So, uh, so how do we actually model something like this? Well, I already went ahead and made a part, gave it a name, and uh, I'm just going to start a sketch on my Z0, and I'm going to look at this bottom one. So I'm going to make that general shape, and uh, it's going to be 40 by 117. Okay, and then I'll just get out of there. That's just a guide for now. And I'm going to go from here to here. So I'm making this back piece here. So this back piece is seven across. And it is 16 tall. Alright, then I want to make uh, this flat area here. So I'm going to sketch on this again. I'm going to go like that, and that, and like so. This is 120 degrees right there, so we'll put that in. And it's 15 millimeters right there, so we can put that in. And it's 7 thick, so we can do that. And we want to go the other way, so it's going down. Okay. This middle part, I'm going to skip for the moment, move over to this end piece. Well, no, actually I, I do have to uh, do that. Let me hide this for the moment. Um, so th this A arrow, that's the way that I'm looking right here. So I'm not looking at this like from there, that's, that's this view. But this A arrow is looking at like this. So the angle, so let, let me go ahead and make a 3D sketch. Um, so I'm gonna go from the center over to here and uh, over to here. Make these equal and for construction. And then I'm going to go on the bottom and I'm going to go uh, out here, here, and here. Make these for construction and equal. Alright, and then this moves just up and down, so I'm going to go between these two. That's 135 degrees. And then I just need to know where the bottom of this is. And since it's coming off the bottom, going to the bottom, that's 32 millimeters down. So I can just go like this, this, 32. Okay. And I want to draw one more line. And it's going to be right there. And I'm just going to make these uh, parallel and equal. And I'll make this for construction too. Alright, so that is the angle that it's going down, which means it stops right there, which means this line right here is going to intersect with that point. So uh, I'm going to make a new plane. And I'm going to sketch on that plane, and then I'm going to hide that plane. Um, and I will show this again too, and I will normal too. There we go. Alright, so we got this shape. It's at an angle. That angle is 60 degrees. And then this point goes here. Nope that point. And um, then it's got a radius of 8. Uh, and then those should be 24 apart if that's correct. Uh, 24 apart. Good. And then there's two circles. Make them equal. 
and they are uh, seven millimeters. And this plate is thick, seven millimeters. Okay, go downwards. And okay. Um, let me hit this real quick. Uh, hide this again. And uh, hide this again. And uh, we want two eighths. And then we want two sevens. It's going to be concentric. Concentric equal and seven and let's go through all and I just need through all thank you and okay right, so that's both ends done so now the middle I'm gonna take a plane go from here to there and I'm gonna sketch on that plane and just connect these. And then I'm going to make a uh, planar surface. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So that and that. And make a plane. Make a sketch. Let us have everything. And uh, plane of surface. And just as a sanity check, they are not seven millimeters apart. To be seven millimeters apart, it'd have to be flat. So, what's going on here? Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So that's at an angle there. So I missed messed up a little bit there. Um, let's see if I can go back and fix that. All right. Let's say I um, do this and this and this. equal. Alright, going to, um, these are still 135 degrees apart, right? Yeah, they're still 135 degrees apart, so that's fine. Um, let's see, 32 minus 7, okay, that's still Still fine. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like that comes out too. So we can work with this. We can work with this. Uh, this plane is not needed. All right. Um, let's make another plane that's just seven away, and we'll sketch on it. We'll take this and this, and we'll say intersecting curve. Intersection curve. Okay, it won't do an intersection curve because it needs to be longer. Alright, let's sketch on this again and we'll do two intersection curves. Oh, that was wrong. Um, Direction is that. Okay. Um, now let's try sketching on this. Oh, not convert entities. I don't want that. I want an uh, intersection curve. Okay. They should be parallel. They are. Um, she 
you know what? Don't want to merge that result. This will freak out a little bit, but that's okay. I'll just uh, get rid of that. And uh, intersect that. There we go. And then we can hide this plane and hide this plane. And we don't need this solid anymore. And then let's see, we'll hide these two. No, I can't. I can't reorder them, so I'll roll that back. Surfaces, planar surface, okay. Then I'll roll it forward. And then, um, let's see. Grab these two. I know I could do a 3D sketch, but I can get a little wonky with shapes like this, so I prefer a, a 2D sketch if I can. I can hide this plane. And go here to here to here. There we go. Plane of surface, okay. Do the same thing up here. Sketch, and uh, let's hide this plane. And go do uh, some lines. Go. And there we go. Do another planar surface. We're just going to knit all these together. Right click, select open loop, planar surface. Right click, select open loop, planar surface. We'll knit again. This time make it solid. Show everything. So that's that's good there. This not so much. So let's go sketch convert screw to boss up to this surface and we want it to be going this direction. So that's that. We'll just use a combine up here. Um let's see. Radius two. Is there any other See if there's any other fillets. Nope. All right. Nope, not that. Just that. And then we've got the circle. Uh, so we'll sketch on this plane and see this view is from there. This view is from there. This is parallel with that, which means this is perpendicular with that. Particular full construction. The circle is 20. This distance is 12. And this distance is 20. And we'll do uh, an extrude cut through all. Okay. And, uh, hmm. I think that's the completed part. Okay, uh, well, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.